I've got a 120, 125 amp breaker there, which is plenty for me. I'm not, I'm going to be limiting this to 100 amps. Um, that's going to give me seven and a half. I can over volt, I can over current. I'll probably get around about nine, maybe 10 kilowatts out of it. Not sure yet should be 10 kilowatts anyway that's 125 amp um, breaker I've also got a 200 amp shunt resistor this actually comes as part of this thing um, so I can use this for calibration this connect this is actually designed to fit with this it was 13 I think it was 13 quid if you want to know what it is. Uh, the only downside is you need between 3 to 40 volts input uh, but it will measure um, 200 volts and 200 amps. Is it? Measure current DC 0 to 200 amps yeah. So it will do 200 volts 200 amps so I've got that I'm going to be fitting that as well and I've also got this which converts um, this is 108 volts maximum and it will convert it down to 12 volts so I can power that and also my LEDs that I've got which I don't know where I've put so that is going to go in there that's going to go in there and I don't know how or where yet that's going to go in there and that is going to go possibly in there, I don't know. I'll have to take those connectors off, but that'll sit in there, something like that. So I've got some backup so I know exactly how many amps I'm actually drawing and what the voltage of the battery is just in case the cycle analyst goes down. So I've got to figure out how to get all that in there and design something for it to sit on or in. Uh, obviously this has got to be sort of heavy duty get rid of that this has got to be heavy duty because of the amount of force that you, you need to switch that on because that's going to be my main breaker obviously so I don't know I don't know where to put it I don't know how it's going to go yet but we'll see we'll see in here I've got this is my uh, 12 volt regulator. I'm just plugged this. I plugged this loosely into this battery just to try it. In the bottom there, there's a shunt resistor, uh, the 200 amp shunt resistor. Uh, the negative of the shunt resistor, which is that one there, that goes directly to the battery. The positive, which is actually negative, but it's it's because it's DC, it has to go a it doesn't have to go a certain way but we'll call that one the positive of the negative side so that the current flows that way back into the battery and the positive goes through the breaker and then it comes straight out to this one here which I don't want anywhere near that one <laughs> um, and on the shunt the current sense there's two wires there which goes into those two wires here so there is actually a positive and a negative side the negative side goes to the negative of the battery the positive side because the currents flow in this way goes into the positive terminal on there um, the regulator is actually plugged one end's plugged into there and the other end is just earthed on the, um, the shunt so what I'm going to do now is switch it on and this is the first time I've turned it on and I'm a bit nervous because I've got a lot of current going through this uh, oh, yay it works although it's showing zero uh, zero amps the reason being this probably doesn't even draw one amp at the minute. Oh, there you go, it just flickered. So, when I plug my Sabaton in, which I'll do in a minute just to try it, it should actually 
although the sap baton doesn't actually draw much. Yay! At least that bit's on. I might hardwire this because these connectors on the sides they bring it out just too wide to fit in there. Otherwise, it'll fit in there absolutely perfect without those connectors on there. So I'm going to put the subaton on. There's no point doing it actually. I'm going to get these wires done because I want to put a an XT90 on there. So. Yeah, I'll wire it up, I'll put the connectors on, and then I'll come back. This is how it's going to be. I can't see any other way. This won't fit flush, it's too high, it won't fit in there. It'll have to sit slightly proud, only by about you know 5mm, 10mm. But that's going to go in there, controller's going to go on there, that's wired in so as I can take that off and just remove the subvaton if I need to. Um, I don't, I'm annoyed about that. I was hoping that would fit down in there but it won't because this is in the way now. So, <coughs> I don't see any other way. I can't put that flat, I can't turn that so that's lower because of the um, the shunt resistors in the way then oh dear and also that's in the way although I could sit that on top of the oh bloody hell anyway I've wired that up I've plugged it in this thing when there's no load on it it doesn't even show up on here and I know this is a 200 amp um, shunt resistor, so to, to show anything less than about 50 amps is going to be ridiculous. Uh, it just won't show it. But it comes on. So, the next thing I'm going to do is try and root, or try and move this around so I can actually get this in flat, flush. I'm annoyed about that. Yeah, and the other way I could no I could even put it that way. Is that in the middle? That's in the middle there. That's the right place for it. So the only place I can possibly put that is there. It won't even go in there. <sighs> Bugger! I might have to make another piece for this so as I can lift everything up so I can actually get that in flush. Dunno yet. Okay, I've figured it out. I'm having the breaker there, I'm having the current and voltage sensor there, or read out there. The shunt's going in there. Uh, the regulator will go there. I've just got to extend these wires again now because I've cut them just to the right bloody length as usual. So that'll go uh, through there. Now what I'm going to do is design a... a that's going to be sticking up more than I want. It's probably about 10 mil. Uh, but because it's sitting on top of the shunt. But what I'm going to do is design a case that holds that in place and holds that in place and holds everything because if anything shorts out on this, <laughs> I'm going to be in trouble. <laughs> I'm going to have hot bollocks. So that will fit there. Perfect. I've done the final part, which is that part. That's for all the cables, the phase wires, and all these connectors when I've all done them all, when I've finished. They'll all go in there. Um, there's a hole, I've got to trim this up and tidy it. There's a hole there that goes underneath the crossbar or the main frame piece. So that's that. Um, the connector, the power lead for the subvertons done. All this is all in. Um, the only thing I've got to do, I've done the covers for these as you've seen already, the battery covers, but I've got to do this one and I don't know how. I'm going to have to custom design and print a front top cover for it. But I don't know how I'm going to do it yet because I want that to just stick out so as I can just get the series connectors and just plug it in. Now unfortunately when I charge it, 
I'm still going to need all the balance leads and everything else because I have to charge them in parallel and obviously you can't charge in series although I've actually got, hang on a sec I've got this power supply which is 12 volt in and up to 96 volts out I think it is um, what I may actually do is incorporate that, put it somewhere, I don't know where yet I may incorporate that so as all I need to do is plug a 12 volt power supply into it um, I've got these server power supplies that does up to 90 amps I think this will do um, 15 I think it's 15 or 15 or 20 amps at 90 volts so oh it's adjustable as well you've got adjustable adjustable voltage adjustable current so I may actually use that as well incorporate that somewhere don't know no idea because unfortunately like I say what I have to do is unplug the series connectors of these three batteries and then I have to wire it in parallel so as I can charge all the three batteries all in one so I'm looking for a solution, I'm still looking for a charge solution and a battery management system that I can just plug in these things and it will balance all the cells up, I don't know yet it's not going uh, very well for the BMS anyway I've done that so now I've got a custom design, a cover for that and also something to hold that into place and then print it I'm seriously considering doing the frame on an earth so I've got positive and I can link any negative to the frame no that's a bad idea Tony f***ing hell <laughs> 